Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome. I'm back. Kind of. Sort of. I've been fiddling around with a bunch of stuff and you're going to see it's not it's not perfect. It's not. I think the audio is finally synced up due to finally realizing that it's the most obvious setting in OBS ever, but I think I finally found it. So my audio should be synced up, even though it doesn't look like it when I'm looking at my screen right now. But in the process of trying to fix that and do all kinds of other stuff, I inadvertently messed up my green screen setting. So you're going to see what right about here. You're going to see some stuff. You're going to see things that, you know, when when this when this is blown up bigger, it's going to be really obvious to me. and It's going to make me cringe, but it's the best I can do. There's just not much I can really do about a lot of this. It is what it is. I'm just going to make do with it and get on with it. I have not done a lot of videos lately. In fact, it's probably been about a month. It's been what since the the update, the brief channel update and talking about the Brody's Good Vibe Tribe, and I will have more on that in a moment, that I last did a video. I have not finished editing Ori in the Blind Forest. I have probably about three episodes worth of content there. I haven't done anything. And I'm losing subscribers, and that's to be expected. I mean, when you're not updating people and you're not uploading content, this is what happens. People don't stick around and wait. I don't blame you. I, you know, I can sit there and say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. And the reason being, my life is changing. It's evolving. It's in a state of flux. It's a lot of things right now. Um, this is actually right now, tonight, is the first time I'm sitting in this apartment by myself in quite some time. Uh, my ex has Kylie at her mom's, and I will be picking up Kylie again probably Thursday evening to bring her back here. Um, my ex is at her mom's for the, the Thanksgiving holiday. She's going to be there through the weekend, and she took Kylie with her for the first few days. And so tonight, tomorrow night, I have a little bit of time. So I wanted to really give people an update, and I wanted to explain what was going on without giving too much detail, because frankly, you don't need to know everything. You don't need to know what was going on. You don't need to know all the stuff that's happened. You just need to know that stuff has happened. I haven't worked on much. In fact, this stuff on the screen is really all that I've worked on, and I just did that tonight because I wanted to put something new up there and kind of have something on screen for people when they're watching like oh hey he's got a youtube channel well duh obviously he doesn't i'm just now realizing the youtube one is lined up more towards the bottom and the rest are towards the middle so i'm really good at this graphical stuff as you can see so i haven't been working on much and i'm probably not going to be working on much and again my life is in a state of flux and in the next few months probably by mid to late spring early summer I will likely be in position, if I haven't already, to move. And that is kind of the way life goes. The relationship with my ex is obviously over. And we are going to kind of go our separate ways. You never really truly go your separate ways because, I mean, we have a kid together. So we can't completely go our separate ways. But we're going to go enough of our ways to where we don't live together anymore. And I think that's going to... It's going to cause a couple of things to change. One, I'm not going to see my child as much. It's just a reality. And if you're a single dad, especially in the state of Ohio, this is this is what happens. You you get you have, you have options and they're limited. But you know, if you are on good terms with your ex, you're probably going to see your kid more than these guys who are on bad terms. And that's just that's again, it's reality. It's not, not a knock on her, not a knock on myself. It's just how it is. So I'm not going to be seeing my child as much once I move. It's just a matter of fact. I won't be coming home to her yelling, Daddy, Daddy, and giving me a hug unless I stop here right after work, which is not always going to happen. So the reality of that hit me not too long ago. And it was like probably about the time that I did that video, that last video. Um, it really hit, it really hit hard, and I, you know, was kind of sitting there thinking about it. I was like, you know, in, in a little while, th this is going to change. My life is going to change, and I'm not going to see this little girl as much. And suddenly, I developed really significant tunnel vision, and things that had been important to me before were no longer so important. And that's just, it's just the reality of the situation. Um this stuff didn't is wasn't as important and it really became it really came down to the fact that i just wanted to spend as much time with this child as i could i wanted to 
be there, I wanted to play, and I wanted to make the most of my time. And one of the things that happens is you're exhausted at the end of the night. You no longer have the energy to do a lot of the things that you were doing before, and that's a reality. And so I would put her to bed and I'd sit down on the couch and I'd veg out and I literally would just sit there and watch TV. And you know, it's not a terrible thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just what happens when you spend a lot of your energy on a kid. And anybody who has small children knows they are, they're a blast, but they take up a lot of energy. In any case, um, I've really focused my time on her and I'm just, I'm not as worried about this. If you're still around in a few months when I resume, great thanks i'll be back i really will i will really really do intend on continuing to do youtube and twitch um but this thing is a pain in the butt to set up um i think i've kind of got things calibrated a little bit but it's a pain in the butt it's it's not a it's not a simple thing to do it's not a real intuitive setup and so there's that issue and then obviously the time with my child that's more important to me right now so once i'm once i'm moved and situated you know the downside is is i don't see my child as much the upside is is i have a little more time to do these things i'll have a little bit more time i'll be able to work on this uh, a couple of nights a week probably and i won't have to worry about waking up a small child because i talk too loud or inter disturbing somebody because they're doing something i will have a little more liberty to to speak like i am right now i'm i'm an I'm, you know, being very, very pronounced. I'm loud. I'm not going. And over here we have this. And that's one of the things I've noticed when watching older videos is I just, I knew there was somebody who could hear me and it's not a knock on them. It's not to sit there and say that I'm embarrassed by talking to them. It's just, it's a human nature thing. When you know you're by yourself and you know, there's nobody listening to you, or you think there's nobody listening to you your your voice comes out completely different it's just it's it's natural i'm definitely thinking that by the time when i'm once i move and have everything situated i will be in a better place to do more of this um, another thing that will hopefully happen is i could start thinking about putting some money aside towards the new desktop and i want to do this right i don't want to do some little you know 800 dollar computer that is marginally better than what this laptop is if I'm going to put a desktop together, this thing is going to kick every other computer's ass for the most part. I'm not talking, you know, like these super computers or anything, but in terms of gaming and being able to render stuff and work quickly on things, I want it to be a beast. And it's going to require a healthy investment. I don't have that right now. I'm, and I'm probably not going to for a while. But I could still dream, right? I mean, I could still think about it. I could still imagine what it would be like and that's just that's just where where i'm at right now i want i want to do it right when i do it i don't want to just put together some half-ass machine and i'm really leaning towards having it built for me by some either somebody or one of these companies i buy power um origin main gear somebody because i i just the more i think about it the more the more intensive a machine i want to build the more I can screw up and I don't want to screw it up. I really don't. I really don't want to spend $2,500 on parts and then it just didn't work. So I'm really, really cognizant of that. I actually have a poll going on on Twitter. If you see on the screen at DavyCracker80 is how you'll find me. Um, it sh probably will close sometime Wednesday evening. I can't remember exactly what time I posted it, but it's Wednesday right now. It's about 2.30 in the morning. So sometime in the afternoon, early evening, it will close and we will see what people think. But at the end of the day, it's my decision. And I, I gotta have the money to do it first and foremost. The advantage I have to parts is, is when I get $200, I can buy a piece or two that I would want and set it aside as opposed to having to come up with two to $3,000 for what I want to put together. So I really just wanted to update everybody on this and you know make it clear, I'm not dropping YouTube or Twitch. I'm not giving up on it. I just have some stuff going on and I'm trying to make the most of my time with Kylie and I'm going to continue to do so for the next few months. That's why I'm not worried about dating. I'm not worried about anything that isn't related to work or this child or you know, bills of course. I will be back. Keep an eye on. Oof. There we go. Keep an eye on these guys. Um, Facebook, not so much because I always forget about it. 
and nobody likes it anyway uh but especially twitter i tweet a lot in I binge tweet. I don't tweet a lot. I binge tweet. When I'm active on Twitter, I am active. But when I'm busy at work, I'm not so active. Uh, follow me on Twitch. You know, subscribe on YouTube, and I will eventually get stuff going. I will. I really will. I probably won't stream much until I've moved. I'm considering doing a stream on Thanksgiving because I will be here by myself for the most part. And while the turkey is cooking away in the oven, I'm probably going to do a stream. And I'm really thinking of actually just starting Fallout 3, just scrapping the Borderlands Bioshock thing that I had started doing, because Fallout is a game I'm really big on. And I haven't... I started to record Fallout 3, but I'm not going to use that footage. I'm just going to, you know, eventually stream Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and then hopefully get Fallout 4 along with... Star Wars Battlefront, Rocket League, and several other games. Um, and once I moved, I should have a little more time to play these games. You know, I'll probably dabble in Minecraft again. I'll probably start up in CSGO and all these games that I've looked at and have accumulated over time. But nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is promised. Life can change really fast. I've already learned that. You never know when shit will hit the fan. But right now, things are calm. And I want to keep them that way for now. So no more issues so probably light on the streaming for the next few months occasional videos maybe probably not a whole lot of these because again setting this thing up is a bear but i think i've got things tweaked to where the audio is synced the screen is okay it's manageable and i i can i can live with what i'm looking at right now um finally before i go a couple more things to hit on uh, Brody's Good Vibe Tribe. I mentioned Brody and Tracy Teig, not Teague, Teig in my last vlog channel update thing. Um, so far, so good. Mama's doing good. Brody's doing good. Seems like it's worked out pretty well. They had a function this past Saturday that I was not able to go to because I had Kylie and I was not driving back and forth into Cleveland six times during the course of that weekend. I, you know, just really nice to see and, you know, they made uh, the local news, WKYC, had a special on them that they made USA Today. And uh, people from around the country are telling them on Facebook that, you know, their stories made it to that part of the country. So this is really taken off and it's really spread. And I'm really, really proud to have been following this. And while I haven't done anything significant, she did acknowledge my the fact that I did put something up. And, you know, I did it because I want people to see from my perspective what i think about it and you know get the word out in my own little way so i was glad to do it tracy i'm glad you saw a little bit of it if not all of it and if you see this it's great to see you doing well uh one more little tiny tidbit is i may have won something really cool uh it seemed pretty valid it does look like some it, it i do vaguely remember entering a contest for this prize that i've won Nothing super major, but it could be a little interesting for the channel in the future. I'm very excited by the possibility of what I have potentially done. Still working out the details, still waiting to actually get confirmation of it. And once I actually have said items, I will probably do a video on those. Because I'm really, really excited about One Piece. It's a three-part prize. Two of them are kind of on, but there's one prize that I really, really am excited to have potentially won. So as I know more, I will tell you more again, Twitter, Facebook, I will keep you updated through there. Um, I think that's it. So in summary, focused on kid, uh, after I move, the channel will probably hopefully pick up gear and I'm really, really determined to reboot my YouTube channel if I manage to get or build a new computer. I don't know what it'll be called. It may still be Cracker Gaming. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to decide on how to proceed with that, but I will be rebooting the channel. It will not be with the current channel where it's at now. That channel will convert to vlogs only. So just throwing that out there for you all. I hope you enjoy this. It's longer than I wanted it to be, but I have a lot to say and I had a lot I wanted to get out and I really wanted to emphasize why I've been missing, why I'm going to continue to be mostly missing. I have stuff to work on. I just got to do it. I just got to sit down, get it over with. I'm trying to get back into working out a little bit so that I'm not, you know, 
sitting here looking like a freaking mush ball. I'm getting a little, little soft in the in the middle. Uh, really want to get that taken care of. So I, I'm trying to do a number of different things, trying to balance the time. And right now with Kylie, it's it's hard to do because she is numero uno to me. So I hope you all understand. I really do. I'm I'm sorry because I was starting to get some momentum again, and then I went, I shot it all down. And really, all I've been doing when I sit down at this computer is watching John of All Games, uh, Julie Hayes, Precious Pro, um, Herb. Herb is really funny when he's playing Counter Strike, and a few others from here, here and there. I, I you know, I kind of pop in on uh, Brotato, who was a big supporter early on. I just, I try to support others when I can't do what I want to do. So if you see me pop into your stream, if you're streaming. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to support you. If I like a video, I haven't done a lot of it lately. I'm trying to support you. I've, I'm, I'm an empty sub to a lot of people on YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I really am. Time is a problem. Always has been. Always will be. So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to let you get on with your life. I've babbled on enough. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Just keep an eye on Twitter more than anything else. You will find me updating you more there than anywhere else. Until next time, I will see you all later.